Sports at Continental Sport TV, ISTV. Come on. It's all about sport for tennis. This week with Euphoria. Yo, welcome to the show. Euphoria is in the building. You got some stuff to tell us about all about sport. You don't need here. Big up to all our followers, all our viewers. Please subscribe. Join this community. Let us grow together. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, Euphoria is ready all the way. Yes, Euphoria, are you ready? Talk to me. All right. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe. Join us. As I welcome Euphoria into the building. All right. Thank you so much to Don. Welcome to another edition of Sport Footies. And of course, you know what we do. And if this is your first time tuning into this particular channel and joining for this particular program, this is Sport Footies. And of course, we bring to you all the previews of what you should expect in the world of sports for the week, starting from Monday down to Sunday. And today will not be an exception. Of course, you know that in this particular edition of the show, you're expected to hear preview of things from Formula One, from football, from tennis, from basketball, and of course, everything that concerns but local and international. So when I talk about local sports, I'm talking about club football, international sports, I'm talking about national team football, even basketball, because we have that lined up for you this week. So remember, before we go into all we have for you, remember that if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like this particular video, and drop your comments on what you think will be the biggest of sporting action you're going to see in this particular week. So beginning from Formula 1, we are in Bahrain. This particular week we'll be having the only testing sessions in the Formula 1 um, between Thursday and Saturday. Well, in previous seasons, it used to be more, but um, according to how the rules of the Formula 1 has changed on the FIA, it has been streamlined to just one. So just this weekend, between Thursday and Saturday, we'll be having testing sessions where the constructors of all the 10 cars we have in the Formula 1 will get to check out their engine check out the remodeling of their cars the rebranding and everything even the new drivers that have moved to different teams those that have signed new contracts and all of that we get to see what they have done uh, if all they have done is actually going to be in uh, perfect condition before the 2023 formula one season begins next month now to the oldest exciting world of basketball, let's even begin from the FIBA tournaments who IH is going to be starting in, of course, going to be starting in August down through to September. Talking about the FIBA World Cup, the men's World Cup, if you want to know about that particular one. But this is the final lap of qualifications, the final window for qualifiers. This is the sixth window for qualifiers we've had for the FIBA World Cup. And of course, it's going to be an exciting one. This is week 11. And of course, we have teams who will be slugging it out to get the remaining 15 spots available uh, for qualifying um, teams. Talking about those particular ones, we have 15 teams who have qualified already and have booked their space in the uh, events that will be happening in the Philippines and Japan. Remember, Japan and the Philippines have gotten automatic qualification because they are the host nations. Now, 15 other teams have qualified and we have 15 left, 15 slots left for the other teams. And of course, this is the sixth window. We'll be having this particular one um, week 11 and week 12. Of talking about this particular week starting from Tuesday we'll be having qualifiers for the FIBA World Cup spots that are remaining the 15 like I said again and of course if you have your country um, still looking to qualify for this particular one you might want to catch them on when they go out to slug it out with the other teams who of course we definitely want to qualify for the World Cup that will be starting in August like I said earlier on and ending in September 2023 now to the world of tennis where the atp and the wta schedule is still ongoing and up and still running of course for the wta we'll be having the um the dubai tennis championship which is a wta 1000 event you know how much a lot of athletes want to participate in this particular one to make sure that this keep them high on the rankings and of course those that are still below will want to come up by going really really um doing really well in this particular championship a 1000 event 
www.mrs.beauty.a you won't want to miss this particular one as long as you're fit and you're ready moving over to the atp we have two events that you should be expecting this week also talking about the real open in brazil that is going to be an atp 500 event and of course the qatar open which is going to be an atp 250 event expect this particular one to give you all of the drama of course give you all of the excitement from the world of tennis moving away from that particular one down to football where we're going to have in of course the under 20 like i said earlier enjoying my intro to the part to this program i talked about the under 20 afcon which is ongoing and of course i've mentioned that we're going to be expecting blockbuster games in that particular one talking about the games will be seen between the um, most successful side in this particular competition or in yes in this competition ever talking about the under 20 afcon this most successful side is the um, flying eagles of nigeria they are the flying Eagles of Nigeria and they've won this past competition seven times yes seven times and they'll be going in for another one of course they'll be facing the host nation uh, talking about Egypt and of course Egypt themselves will be playing another very good footballing nation in West Africa and of course if you know Senegal talking about this um, past few years how much they've been taking over the world of football in the continent of Africa you want to see this past club fixture between the host nation Egypt and of course Senegal which will be coming up in the group stage of the under 20 AFCON now to the exciting world of European club football starting of course from the very big one talking about the UEFA Champions League we returns this week Tuesday and of course it promises to bring a lot of exciting games like it did the previous week where we saw Chelsea lose to Dortmund and of course we saw PSG um, defeat um, get defeated at the Pack the Princess to Bayern Munich who came and took a 1-0 um, win over to the Allianz Arena they'll be playing second round but this is not the week they'll be playing that particular one now it's the rest it's time for the rest of the teams in the round of 16 to play their games and these teams will include um, the, the finals we saw last season that will be a repeat of the finals fixture we saw between Liverpool and Real Madrid this time around is going to be in the round of 16 Liverpool who are rejuvenated by the way having two um, wins in the league this season talking about two consecutive wins in the EPL they'll be buzzing as they come into this particular game to face their uh, their all-time or um, let me say their, their um, let me say they're at least here where they'll be meeting Real Madrid in the Anfield. Well, come to Anfield if you know what I mean. Real Madrid will be coming to the Anfield on Tuesday to play that particular fixture, while the other one will be the game between um, Eintracht Frankfurt and Napoli. Napoli will be traveling over to Germany to play that particular one at the Duché Bank Park. And of course, it's, it's, it's expected to be an exciting one because a lot of eyes will be on the Napoli team who have been making a lot of people talk talking about controversies talking about good and bad reviews bad reviews because many people don't want to really acknowledge what they're doing because they're not playing in england or in spain but don't take that anything away from the napoli side who look to be cruising to the scudetto or talking about the italian serial title with the way they've been doing uh, everything they need to do correctly in the league well they have their points man talking about the nigerian striker victor Simek, who has been banging goals day in day out week in week out match in match out he'll be going over to um germany to be able to help his side secure a win and then of course take it back to Naples where they'll play the return there when on wednesday it's a big game between um rb leipzig and man city man city uh of course dropped points and left the position they were in before the game on the weekend talking about the top position they returned arsenal back to it with that draw um, at nottingham forest but this time around they'll be going to the red bull arena in Germany also to play RB Leipzig and of course that will be on Wednesday then at the San Siro we'll have the other Milan team talking about Inter Milan play uh, Porto in that particular one and it's going to be at the San Siro that is the home ground of Inter Milan now to the UEFA Europa League we'll be having games of course we saw games last week thursday and results are in already and of course this particular week is a make or my week for all the teams especially the teams who are trailing in that particular one starting from Mo uh, monaco who are going to be playing at home against some um, bayern leverkusen bayern leverkusen are coming to this one 
um, actually after losing at home to Monaco 3 to that one was played Natis and Juve Natis will be at home against Juve where they went over to the old ladies home talking about when, when they went to Turin and they uh, played a one all draw against Juventus and of course PSV oh my god it's very difficult uh, uh, mountain for them to climb when they'll be facing Sevilla they are playing at home already yes but the person Sevilla who they lost to when when they went over to Seville talking about Spain and lost three goals to nil moving away from that particular one Roma will play at the um Estadio uh, Olimpico and of course they'll be looking to overturn a 1-0 deficit when they face when they face Strasbourg in that particular one and then the final one the biggest one when they face Salzburg now the final one and the biggest one will be the game at Old Trafford between Manchester United and Barcelona you know how con keenly contested this one was at the Camp Nou last week Thursday it was a two all draw between both sides and of course anyone who wins this Barcelona one take it home and of course go back uh, go, of course go to the next round of the competition and that will be all for the UEFA Europa League we'll be seeing and moving over to the weekend where we have the big game on Sunday in the EPL yes expect Super Sunday game between Tottenham Hotspur at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium against a very Chelsea side who at this point in time do not have anything going well for them the only thing going well for them is the money of course they have the money to spend but of course money cannot buy happiness like someone in my country will say I think you're good this is for you but money cannot buy happiness yes money cannot buy goals yes but that is not the problem of Tottenham Hotspur who will be looking to of course take their own pound of cake when um uh, that's Graham Potter's side visits the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Sunday uh, before that we have Arsenal play against Leicester at King Power Stadium and it promises to be an exciting one and that's how much we have for you this week on this particular episode of Sport Footage remember if you have not liked the channel please like the channel subscribe and of course drop a comment on which of these actions you'll be expecting to see keenly this particular week so come away again next time it's still euphoria and of course it's what's been done for the rest of the show all right, people, this is how far we can go tonight. Take big up to Korea there. Yes. Thank you so much, people. This is how far we can go. Please subscribe to the channel. Join the community. What are you waiting for? Come on, come on, come on. Smash like on the video. Big up to everybody. One love, people. Same time next week. We'll be here live again. That being said, thank you, everybody. I'm signing out. Same time. One love, people. Bye for now.